So we're going to look at a container packing question. Um, this one says, a large container is being filled with smaller boxes. Giving the dimensions below, what is the most boxes you can fit in the container if they're all stacked the same way? The fact that they all have to be stacked the same way is important because it means that we can't just find the volume of the larger one, find the volume of the smaller one, and then divide them. We instead have to find out um, all the different combinations of stacking the boxes and how many ways and how, how many we can fit. And by stacking it that way. So if we're to imagine that the, the base of this container was this show me board and that these were the boxes, what you could see is you could fit one there, you could fit another one there, but you weren't, wouldn't be able to fit a third one, so that would just be two. You fit that way, and that way, and that way. So you basically have to do it six different ways because if you were to imagine this was the box, you could see you could stack it one, two, two ways, so three ways, four ways, five, and six. Okay, so there'll be six different ways we can stack our box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the dimensions that we've got. So I've got 30 centimetres, 20 centimetres and 25 centimetres are the dimensions of our smaller box. And our larger box is 4 metres by 2.5 metres by 180 centimetres. So I'm going, to draw, I'm going to draw a table out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all of that into centimetres. So I'm going to have 400 centimetres. I'm going to have 250 centimetres. And I'm going to have 180 centimetres. Okay. And they're going to be what I'm going to, their dimensions of a container. Okay. So what I've then got to do is, is align um, each side of the box with the side of the container. And as, I, as I've said, I've got to do that six different ways. The best way of making sure you've got all the different ways is to say, start with 30, 25, and 20. I think the best way of doing that is to just go through um, the rows. So I'm doing like, are the columns, sorry, and do 30 there, 30 there. 25 there, 25 there, 20 and 20. Once I've done that, I just need to go through these and just keep swapping them around. So 25 and 20. So we'll do 20 and then 25. We'll do 30 and then 20. 20 and then 30. 30 and then 25. And then 25 and 30. And there are all of the ways that I can stack my box, stack the container with the boxes. Okay, so what I've got to do next is I've got to divide the length of the container by the length of the boxes. So I'll do 400 divided by 30, and what that does is that gives me 13, point four, 13 and a third of a box. So obviously I can't stack a third of the box because um, it would be sticking out of the container. So what I've got to write instead, just round down, no matter what it is, you always round down. So even if it's th like 13.97, you would still have to write 13 because that's the maximum number you could fit along that, that line, okay? And you do the same thing with all all of the sides of the container. So you've got 13, 10, and nine, and then what you do is just go through it, and we've got 13 uh, there, because they're both 30. I've got 25 here, so 25 is also here. I've got nine here, so I've also got nine there. And you can sort of go through it that way. So if I do uh, 25 into 40, that gives me 16. So we've got another 16 there, and you into 20 is 20. That's also 20. And then I've got 20 there, so if I do that, it would be 12. If that was 12, it means that this is also 12. Um, and then 25, well, that goes in seven times. And then that's also seven. 30 goes in 25 eight times. So that one's also going to be eight. And then again, that'll be six, and that'll be six. A lot of these you can do with a ca without a calculator, but I always recommend if you have a calculator to, to use it. The last thing we've got to do is just multiply multiply along the rows. So 13 times 10 times 9 gives you 1,170. 13 times 12 times 7 is 1,092. Uh, 16 times 8 times 9 is 1,152. 16 times 12 times 6 is 1,152 as well. 20 times 8 times 7 is 1,120. Um, and then 20 times 10 times 6 is 1,200. Okay, so there's the, there's the maximum number you can fit. It's 1,200, and you can just write that at the bottom. Okay, the most boxes, most boxes you can fit. Most boxes you can fit is 1,200. And there you go there, and that's how you do it. Okay. We're going to look at a exam question now. So the exam questions are a little bit different than the one before because it's got this, this bit is really important that it says that store this way up. So the boxes have to be stacked in a certain way 
with one side, in this case the 15 centimeters, has to go alongside the 260. Okay, so if you imagine, like, again, this was our box, well, we can only ever stack it this way or this way, but I'll keep it in the sort of like 15 um, along, along that side. So we've only actually got two ways of doing it this time. So it makes it much easier, um, but you need to remember that. You need to remember that those are only two ways of doing it. Again, we're going to make a table, but this time we're only going to have two rows of of uh, dimensions. So we'll have our 240. We'll have, if you look at my numbers, 240. So 1,250 and then 260. So 1,250 and then 260. Okay, and again, just draw a little table. Probably not too big. Probably don't need that much room. Um, but then what we're going to do is look at the dimensions of our boxes. So it's 60, 40, 15. The 15 is the one that has to go alongside the 260. Okay, because it has to be that way up. So these two are going to have to be 15, and I can't do anything else with it. Which means that the remaining two sides, namely the 60 and the 40, are both going to go there, and you just basically swap them around. And that's the only two ways that we can stack our stack our container with these boxes um, while having it that way up. So what we do now is we do the same thing. We just um, divide the length of the box by the length of the container. So you do 20, 240 into 60 goes four times. 1,215 divided by 40 is a 31, and then 260 by 15 is 17. And again, I can write 17 there as well because they're both the same. Then do 240 divided by 40 is 6, and then 1,250 divided by 60 gives me gives me 20. Okay, and just like before, what I do now is I multiply along the rows. So 4 by 31 by 17, and that gives me 2,108. And then multiply along here again gives me 2,040. Okay. So the maximum number, okay, that I can fit, okay, the maximum number, the maximum number of boxes, number of boxes is two, uh, 2,108, okay, and that's the, and that's the exact fish.